Situated in Manchester in the northwest of England is the country's national cycling centre. Since the early 90s, the highly successful British track cycling squad have trained at the velodrome here. In 2011, the NCC expanded with the launch of a £19 million indoor BMX complex. The largest of its kind in Europe, the 400-metre undulating course is the venue for the opening round of this year's BMX Supercross World Cup Series. One of the favourites for the elite women's event is local girl Shanae's Reed, who will be competing in front of her home crowd for the first time since the London Olympics. It's amazing, like, like I come here every day and train and it's nice to see the crowd, you know, everyone's getting behind all the riders, and especially the GB athletes, and it settles up good, ready for a good race weekend. Transworld Sport first met up with Shanae's in June 2008, two months before BMX racing made its Olympic debut in Beijing. By then, she was already a big name on the bicycle motocross scene. As a junior, she won a total of three world, eight European and five British BMX titles. In 2007, Speedy Reedy clinched the Elite Women's World Championship on her competition debut and retained the rainbow jersey a few months before the Beijing Games. Yet, despite Reed's undoubted ability on two wheels, an Olympic medal has as yet eluded her. In Beijing, she crashed out on the final corner while she placed sixth last year in London. Twenty twelve was a, a, a funny year for me, and I hoped it would have gone a little bit better than it did in terms of not results, but just being able to attend some of the races due to injuries and and one thing or another. I just seemed to be off the bike more than I was on it in twenty twelve, which wasn't the ideal preparation to try and become Olympic champion that year. And yeah, I mean it was it was phenomenal to take part in the home Olympic Games, and I guess nothing kind of will ever compare to you know even going to twenty sixteen. I don't think it'll give you that kind of same buzz just being in your home country. Since the Olympics, 24-year-old Shanae's has been working closely with British BMX coach Grant White to ensure that she's in the best possible condition to compete this season. How hard do we work? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's our life. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a 60-plus hour week for me every week. Um, you know, the guys, you know, their application to training and intensity and you know, they're, they're workhorses. I think, yeah, preparation so far in the winter has gone really well. This year is laying a good base of race, racing down, trying to get back onto the, the top of the podium and trying to be successful and, and build upon that each year and to be the overall Supercross champion and also to become the world champion. The fastest in the opening day's time trial, Shanae starts the competition proper in emphatic fashion, finishing clear of the field in her first heat. Meanwhile, in the men's competition, it's Reed's compatriot Liam Phillips who rides strongest early on. Four-year-old Phillips progresses to the semi-finals with the fastest time of the day. As at previous World Cup meetings, the field in Manchester is diverse, with riders travelling from the likes of Australia, Colombia and South Africa to take part. Born in the Netherlands, 19-year-old Laura Schmolders has been earmarked as one of Chanet's Reed's biggest challenges in the women's competition. Last year, the teenager clinched a shock bronze medal at the London Olympics. Uh, I hadn't expected it beforehand. My goal was to reach the final, which ultimately resulted in me placing third. Afterwards, I was so happy. The Olympics is great for the sport, and I enjoyed it immensely. Schmulders followed up her Olympic success with victory at the final World Cup meeting of 2012 in Canada. The Dutch rider is hoping to start this season in the sort of form that she finished the last. It's a, real it's a World just, Cup, uh, which means the cream of the sport's talent is present. I think Sinead's Reed will be my biggest competition. This is her home track, so she knows the course well. My aim is to make it to the final and then hopefully make it onto the podium. Schmulders rides confidently throughout the day, negotiating all the jumps and corners to qualify for the semi-finals. 
In the first of those semis, Shanae's Reed comfortably secures her place in the final. The action here in Manchester doesn't go by without incident. There are a number of crashes which end the chances of several riders in the build-up to the final. In the second women's semi-final, Laura Schmulders misjudges one of the jumps and crashes out of the competition. All eyes are on Britain's Shanae's Reed and Liam Phillips going into the two finals, with the pair setting the best times of the day in their respective categories. And the duo don't disappoint. Liam Phillips finishes clear of a field containing world champion Sam Willoughby to record his first ever World Cup win. While in the women's final, crew-born rider Shanae's Reed gets the home crowd roaring. She keeps her composure to seal a British double. And the pair will no doubt be looking forward to the next World Cup meeting in Argentina later this month. It's always nice, you know, when you set a plan out and you start off with a win, it gets the, the wheels in motion and it's kind of like, yeah, it was a, it's the perfect story to happen from this event. It, it happened this weekend.